Hello, welcome to today's lesson. We have science, okay? And our topic for today is living things. Okay, say after me, living things. Last week, we talked about plants as living things. Today, we are going to talk about animals as living things. These are key words. Say after me, living things. Mm hmm Full. Omnivore. Carnivore. Herbivore. Mare. Cab. Gill. Lioness. Great. Now, when we are done with this lesson, you should be able to tell me why an animal or animals are living things. Is that okay? All right. We are going to look at the life processes of living things or animals. Okay. It simply means that we are going to see or understand why animals are also living things. Okay. Now, last week, I showed you something called Mrs. Graham. The short form or the initial letters of the seven life processes. The M stands for move, R stands for respire, S sense, gene growth, R reproduce, E excrete, N nutrition. Is that okay? Now, do you think animals move? Can you mention, give me examples of animals you see around you? Okay, so we have the cat, the doe, and those ones are very common. We see them around all the time. Even if you don't have those animals in your homes, you see them around. There are so many animals, elephants, zebras, rhinos, kangaroos, lion, etc. Okay, animals move. All animals move. Some move by creeping, some slither. The snake slithers. So I don't want to, you, I, I don't want to hear you say that the snake is coming or the snake is doing logoligi things. No, a snake slithers. That is how it moves. Okay. Then we have um, the kangaroo. The kangaroo hops. We have the horse. The horse gallops. Okay. So those are the various. Those are some of the ways animals move. Okay. Now respire. Animals also breathe. Breathe in, out. Animals also breathe, just like you and I. Okay. So that is. Um, that also tells us that an animal is a living thing. Some animals breathe through their lungs. Others, such as the fish, breathe. The fish breathes through its gills. The pink thing you see here is a gill or are the gills of the fish. So next time your mommy brings fish from the from the market, let her show you or show your mother what the gills of the fish are or where it is. Is that okay? All right. Now, sense. Animals can feel. Animals can see. Animals can smell. Animals can hear. Okay. So animals can do all these things. It also shows that an animal. Or animals are living things. Growth. Animals grow. This is the horse. Okay. The female horse is called a mare. And the baby horse is called a foal. It's here, foal, mare. Okay? So the female horse is a mare. The baby horse is a foal. Is that all right? So animals also grow. When they give birth to their young ones, the young ones also grow. Okay? Now we have reproduce. Animals reproduce. Do you remember what I said the meaning of reproduce is? Do you know what reproduce means? Very good. I'm sure you got that right. So they also give birth or they also produce their own. Now when you look at the picture here, we have a picture of a cat. Okay. The cat is with its little one. A baby cat is called a kitten. Say after me, kitten. Very good. Now we have um, a, a picture of a lioness a female lion is called a lioness so we have the lioness here and its baby the baby lion is called a cub okay a cub that's what you have here cub lioness okay so animals also give birth 
Now, we have animals that lay eggs. Okay, just such as the hen. When it lays its egg, it sits on it for a while and then the eggs hatch. When the eggs hatch, the chicks come out of it. When we say hatch, it means that when the egg breaks, the chicks come out of it. Okay, now excrete. Animals also get rid of their waste. Okay, animals urinate. Animals breathe out carbon dioxide. Is that okay? Now, when we are having our next session, our Zoom lesson, the next live session we have for science, you are going to answer this question for me. Why do you, what do you think will happen if animals do not excrete? Okay, what do you think will happen if animals do not excrete? If they do not get rid of their waste? What will happen to them? Very good. Now the last thing, nutrition. Okay, animals also need food to survive, just like you and I. If we don't eat, we'll go hungry and die. Animals also need food to survive. Animal feed in some animals eat only plants, and those animals are called herbivores. Okay, they are animals that eat only plants. They are called what? Herbivores. Exa Can you give me a few examples? We have the cow. Any other? Yes. You will tell me when we have our Zoom meeting. Okay. Again, we have carnivores. Animals that eat only flesh or meat are called carnivores. Like the lion. Like the jaguar. Like the tiger. They are called carnivores because they eat only meat. You will give me more examples when we meet. We have the omnivores as well. They are animals that eat both plants and meat. They are called omnivores. Example, the bear. Crayfish is also an omnivore. Is that okay? Now, we are done with today's lesson. What have we done so far? We have looked at the reasons why an animal or animals are living things. Animals can do all these things. They can move, respire, sense, grow, reproduce, excrete, feed, or eat. So we say that animals are also living things. Okay, we have looked at a few keywords as well. I expect you to learn these keywords. We will, we will have dictation the next time we have our Zoom meeting. My last question for, for you. What do you think will happen if, uh, what do you think will happen to human beings if all our plants or all the trees, all the vegetation dies? What do you think will happen if there are no more trees or no more plants in this world? What's the meaning of the saying, when the last tree dies, the last man dies? What does it mean? When the last tree dies the last man dies think about it write this question down think about it write your thoughts down when we meet on the next time we have um, science zoom meeting you will tell me about it so let me write the question here when the last tree dies the last man dies. What does it mean? Take your jaw test, write them, write this into it, and write your thoughts in your jaw test for me. When we meet the next time via Zoom, we will discuss it, and you will all tell me what you have researched. Okay, you all tell me what you have researched. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.